Hello, this is Smurdly, and um, a friend of mine on YouTube a while ago did this um, video in which he asked people to ask him any question they want to, and he would make a response video and answer them. Well, I'm not going to do that because that's a copycat thing, and I don't copycat other people, basically. And um, besides, I know what kind of nasty, filthy questions you'd be asking me about. You know, <clears throat> things that are none of your damn business and things that I don't want to answer anyways. But I got this uh, this um, comment on one of my videos from a person who subscribes and his name is, um, it was on the video, A Very Horrible Bedtime Story, and it was from Foititis, F-O-I-T-I-T-I-S, -I, -I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and um, because he's a very devout Catholic, and I don't speak Catholic, um, and um, I'm basically Protestant, but it's been so long since I've been to church, and I'm not even that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, he asked me, um, he said, uh, oh gosh, he said, where do you think of this stuff to be a fly on the inside of the wall of your head? What imagery, what imagery? I'm not making fun of it. It's pretty interesting, a fly on the inside of my head. Bzzz, maggots hatching up there. Where do I get my ideas from? Oh, I don't know. Um, 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 old cartoons and old commercials and movies that I saw years ago and life itself. And, um, uh, oh, I don't know. Where do I get my ideas from? All over the place. I always never wanted to, um, you know, become so famous that I'd be like, oh, well, these were my influences. Let's see now. Oh, you know, whatever, whatever you people like. I mean, Ingmar Bergman. Uh, died the other day and of course Woody Allen comes out there and he does this thing where he says uh, how great an influence Igmar Bergman was to him I mean as a filmmaker and I, I think Woody Allen's an asshole you know all his humor is about being insecure and it's all 60s sex stuff with Hugh Hefner and <coughs> <coughs> That's what I think of Woody Allen. <coughs> Voices. There's a guy on who subscribes to me, and he likes he likes how deep my voice can get. Sometimes he wishes he had such a deep voice. Well, ah, 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 ah. Where do you get a deep voice from? You practice it, I guess. And some people can. Some people have a naturally. All right, all right. In 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 my apartment where I live. Okay. So that's why I yell. See this? Look. See this on the wall? That's a wall grate, okay? And sometimes if I raise my voice or yell, Hey! Did you hear that? Hey! It just echoes it. And my door is closed right now because I have the fan going all the time because I live in a desert, all right? Now. Can you hear the fan, huh? It makes for a different sound. It makes my voice maybe sound lower. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, where do I get my ideas? I get them from all over the place. And I get them from inside my head. And I get them from life itself. And I get them from, ah, having been lived in the past in a big city like Boston and lived in a shabby little rooms and places with a bathroom down the hall with people piss and shit on, on the floors and where you have to wear shower thongs into the bathroom or else you slip slide through you know across a floor full of wino beer vomit and have it squished between your toes and if you step into the rusted metal one man shower thing broken beer bottles and shit all over the floor would cut your feet up and give you a nasty infection and I used to sit there at night and listen to winos raving and schizophrenics and crazy people off their medication raving all night and just ranting and I hope you burn in your grave in hell you cocksucker I hope you burn in your grave in hell I thought that's unique burn in your grave in hell well, what a what a concept you know as if 
as if in hell, even in hell there's graves where you burn in your grave in hell. I mean, the disjointed thoughts of the mentally ill <laughs> are very funny sometimes, you know, just listen whenever somebody's crazy or a wino's ranting, you know, don't get too close, they might bite you, uh, but they say the most, the most, most horrible random things out of their pickled brains, you know, and you pick up on these things, and, you know, you can make fun of people, you can make fun of people, and another video I made a couple days ago about a guy, a panhandler that I told off real good, I told him off real good, and I'm good at telling people off, because I go, right in his face, he always, <clears throat> every time I talk to him, he's like, <clears throat> how are you doing today, it's a nice day, can you spare any change? See. Go to that video, it's called, um, about my Bill O'Reilly moment, and it'll tell you all about it, but I got right in his face because he said I was stuck up because I walked by with my nose in the air and wouldn't talk to him, and I said, because every time you talk to me, you hit me up for money, and I don't have money, and even if I did, I wouldn't give it to a bum like you, and he said, just a minute, buddy, I said, just a minute, buddy, and I got right in his face, and I said, could you spare any change, I hook, I hook, I hook, Right in his face, I, I do, I, I do stuff like that. Right in people's faces when they push me far enough. Okay, where do I get my ideas? I don't know where I get my ideas. Where do you get yours? Um, I'm not afraid to have ideas, and um, I'm in, yeah, 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 I live by myself. Um, all of it, I do voices. Uh, there was a, I have the, I do that. Hello, how are you? Oh, oh, oh. Remember Bugs Bunny? Oh. And all those cartoons, uh, confidentially, it's things. I don't copy people. People say that I look like, or sound like, or, you know, look like Jack Elam, the, the, the Western character actor who had a, a crooked eye like that, you know. And I don't look like Jack Elam, and he didn't look like me. And some people say I look like this one, and that one. And I'm like Billy Bob, whatever his name is, the guy who played in that wonderful Christmas movie, Bad Santa. Um, <clears throat> the reason I went and rented that video, bought that video, <coughs> Bad Santa is because a uh, son of um, a friend of mine, <coughs> temporary friend, <coughs> told me that um, he saw Bad Santa and it was just like me. So I went and got it and I said, you know, because I'm um, yelling at people and being real nasty. <coughs> Pardon my phlegm. <coughs> oh. oh, God. before it crawls away. It goes up somebody else's nose. It's full of worms. <laughs> Where do I get my idea? I don't know. I don't know. They come out of my head. They come out of, they come out of the air. They come out of vapor. And they're all over, they're all over the place. <laughs> now I'm looking like that guy already. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I just do. But random. And I just, uh, um, and when I run out of things to, to, to say, uh, I'm on uh, get all space. And, uh, I gotta go somewhere soon. I gotta go somewhere. 11.07. Oh yeah, I gotta be somewhere. I gotta get my cookies together. And I gotta get my can of coffee together. And I gotta get my um, cups together. And go and make coffee. And refreshments. Uh, for a voluntary thing that I do uh, every weekday. Just about. Not every weekday, but some weekdays. Anyway, where do I get my ideas? I don't know. You care where I get my ideas? <laughs> um, and that's it. Does that answer your question? Hmm.